Hey, this is Jim at Dev Farm. Today I'm going to show you how to create a PowerShell module using PowerWF. I'm going to assume that you already know how to create a basic PowerWF workflow, but if not, you should check out blog.powerwf.com where I've written up a number of tutorials to get you started. I've already created a couple of short workflows. One that uses the speech API, another one that shows a message box, and a third that announces the pointing devices in use on your machine. Creating a PowerShell module is really as easy as, easy as just switching to the Deploy tab and clicking the Module button. You can see that I've named two of the workflows using standard PowerShell verbs, so PowerWF automatically chose the correct verbs. The third workflow could use a little better name. I select the workflow and I can either double click it or I can click the Edit button. If I wanted to change the verb, I would select from the drop down here. In this case, get is actually a pretty good verb, so we'll go ahead and leave get as the verb. The main thing is we want to change this noun from announce pointing devices to just pointing devices. So we can see that our PowerShell command will now be get pointing devices. I'll go ahead and click OK here. The only thing I have left to do is to name the module. In this case, we'll just call it PowerWF test. And then I can click the Build button, and as soon as it's done, PowerWF will launch a PowerShell console for us. Okay, let's test out these commandlets real quick. First of all, we'll test this message box commandlet. And because I named my workflow the same, I can see right here that all I have to do is type open dash message box. And PowerShell will go ahead and launch the message box from my PowerWF workflow. We can see it right here. Uh, because of the way I set the default values for this, it actually tells me how to use this message box from within PowerShell. So I could go ahead and do this again and say open message box dash message text and then go ahead and give it the text I want. My text, and hit enter, and we can see that it went ahead and replaced that, uh, the text here with my text. The other ones we have is the announce pointing device, which we change to get dash pointing devices. So we go ahead and do that one, and it'll go ahead and announce for us. Two pointing devices. Microsoft USB and Polymer Optical ThinkPad Ultramat Pointing Device. So that's kind of cute. And then the last one we have is the convert to speech. So I just type convert dash to speech and hit enter. Greetings program. Use dash input words to set. Okay, and it tells me all I have to do is type convert dash to speech dash input words quotes anyone can do PowerShell modules with Power WF. So let's test that one out real quick. Anyone can do PowerShell modules with Power WF. Now, of course, if you wanted to use this module in another PowerShell console, all you'd have to do is open that PowerShell mod, uh, console and type import module and then Power WF test, and you're good to go. That's pretty much it. You are now the expert on creating PowerShell modules. Have fun with it and let us know if you run into any problems. You can contact us at help at devfarm.com or visit the blog http blog.powerwf.com. And of course, you can download the latest PowerWF at powerwf.com. Thanks for watching.